One of the most unique animated films ever made came from Walt Disney in 1940 when he combined classical music with animation to create Fantasia. Although it was a box office success, its overall gross outcome at the time could not justify a whole series of Fantasia-like films that Disney had originally attended and it would not be for another 60 years before a new one was theatrically released. Fantasia is unique in that it tells a series of stories that are set to recognizable classical music that are not relatable to each other and not all of them tell a story in some form or another. Some are abstract to the extreme, images matching with the music to enlist an emotion of some kind from the audience or show an animator's thought process. Either way, it's an anthology of wonderful imagination that is matched with the music that inspired it. That's probably the best I can do to describe this movie if you have not heard of it, but today it is regarded as a bona fide Disney classic and one of the animated greats just for the audacity and risk it took, doing something that was so radically different that it puts this whole trust in the audience to go along with it, especially in today's perspective. Disney has already made a name for himself with Snow White and the Seven Doors and Pinocchio, and Fantasia is his most artistic in his whole filmography in terms of the concept alone. It really is wonderful and certainly is one of my favorites as a Disney film and as a film in general. I could watch this and get myself lost, just enjoying and admiring the work and artistry that went into it, matching beautifully and perfectly with the music that I have grown to love myself, like Toccata and Fugue in D minor by Sebastian Johann Bach, The Sorcerer's Apprentice by Dukas, and Night on Bald Mountain by Mordes Mussorgsky. I've watched this film ever since I was a kid and I can say that I may not understood what it was all about at first. But it certainly kept my attention and it still does to this day and it's one of those rare films that makes me feel like I'm watching it for the first time whenever I watch it because I get so engrossed in some points in it. Even my least favorite out of all of them, The Rite of Spring with the dinosaurs, that while it does get a little boring for me at times, still manages to keep me entertained and with recent viewings I've actually grown to love it a little bit more thanks to the detailed animation. As for my favorite, I just might go on the easy route and say The Sorcerer's Apprentice. What can I say, is Mickey Mouse in an entertaining and beautiful segment that is set to one of my favorite pieces of music ever. For me, this has never gone old and it still captures my attention whenever it starts playing, even when I know it by heart. Other segments like Night on Bone Mountain still blows my mind with a haunting imagination and just wild in its execution and its boldness, and Dance of the Hours is a comedy at its finest that is still entertaining with its colorful cast of characters that has so much personality to them. I think there are just so many ways that I could say that I love this movie and by this point I feel like I'm repeating myself when I say that I love this film to death as well as admire it for the risk it took and the talent that went into it that showed that they went far and beyond with it. It's wondrous, entertaining, and overall ingenious. Fantasia is a treasure in my DVD collection and I know I don't mind one bit revisiting this gem over and over again. <laughs>